Hi, I'm Lara. Welcome to another video. Today's tutorial is on the song, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? This tutorial is for all levels, so we'll start with a basic beginner strumming pattern, and then I'll show you two other strumming patterns with increasing difficulty, and then we'll also look at a finger picking pattern. So lots of options for how you can play this song. And finally, we'll sing through the entire song together. Next is an image that shows the chord diagrams for all eight chords that are in this song. This is also in the link below in the description, along with the lyrics. So take a look at the image, and then I will show you the fingerings for each of these chords. The first chord is C, followed by A minor, F, G, D minor, E7, G7, and finally E minor. There are a few tips that make some of the chord transitions in this song a bit easier. You'll find that on the first line of each verse, there's an A minor that moves into an F. And the easiest way to do that is to play A minor with your middle finger on the fourth string. And when you play your F, keep your middle finger down and then place down your index finger. The second line of each verse has a chord sequence that goes from A minor to D minor to G7. The easiest way to play this is to start with your middle finger on the fourth string for A minor, keep your finger down, and then you're also going to place down your index finger on the second string and your ring finger on the third string to play D minor. Now to transition from D minor to G7, you're going to keep your index finger down, rotate your hand, place your middle finger on the third string, and your ring finger on the first string to play G7. So the full sequence looks like this. A minor, D minor, G7. Our first strumming pattern is going to be an easy down strum on the one and the three. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's sing through the first two lines of this song with this basic strumming pattern. Five, six, seven, eight. Tonight you're mine completely. You give your love so sweetly. Our second strumming pattern sounds like this. So this pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Remember to keep your hand and your wrist moving back and forth in a steady motion even when you're skipping the up strum or the down strum. So for example, we play our first down strum and then our hand comes back up again so that we can play another down strum. So keep that steady motion. Let's sing through the first two lines of the song using the second strumming pattern. Five, six, seven, eight. Tonight you're mine completely. You give your love so sweetly. And now for our third strumming pattern. This one is a little more tricky and I love the way it sounds, so let me show it to you. The rhythm of this pattern is similar to that of the second pattern, but there are some key differences. The first is that in the second pattern we started off with a down strum, but in this pattern we're starting off by playing the fourth string with our thumb. I have a low G string on my ukulele. You can have a low G or a high G. It will sound good either way. 
So this is what kicks off this pattern, is using our thumb on the fourth string. Next is the first down strum, and this is a staggered elongated strum. It starts with my ring finger and then middle finger and index. I'm actually using all three for this strum. So here's what it sounds like. You can practice it slowly, one finger at a time, until you get the feel of it. The rest of this pattern is the same as the second strumming pattern. So we have an up, up, down, up. Here's what it looks like when we put it all together. Now let's sing through the first two lines of the song using this third strumming pattern. Five, six, seven, eight. Tonight you're and next I'm going to show you a finger-picking pattern. Oftentimes when a song moves from a chorus or a verse into a bridge, the melody takes on a different direction. And I like to play something that's a little bit rhythmically different, maybe going from strumming to finger-picking, or a bit of a different pattern, so that not only the melody is different, but what I'm playing musically is different as well. I like to apply this finger-picking pattern to the bridge of this particular song, but if you like, you could apply it to the entire song. Here's what the finger-picking pattern sounds like, and I'm playing an F chord here. I'm starting with the fourth string, and then going to three, two, one, slight pause, and then back to two, and then three. Let's apply this finger picking pattern to the first two lines of the song. Five, six, seven, eight. song together. You can use any of the three strumming patterns or the finger picking pattern or you could mix them up. I'm going to use the strumming patterns on the verses and the finger picking pattern on the bridge. Five, six, seven, eight.
enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and thanks so much for subscribing. Have fun with your ukulele, and thank you for watching.